Hi guys, welcome back to Future Dimensions 360. As you know, in our last tutorial, we are learning about use reducer hook. We had learned the complex state architecture in use reducer hook with the help of a practical example. In today's tutorial, we will be learning use reducer hook with use context hook and we will be implementing that with the help of example in our code. Let's go ahead and let's learn why we need use context hook with use reducer hook. In the last tutorial, we had seen that we are implementing a counter with use reducer hook, but the counter value, the counter value is managed in state locally. What if we need to manage the same state globally. For example, we have an, a requirement in which we have a state and we have to share the value of state between multiple components. What we will do in that scenario is we will implement use reducer hook with use context hook to achieve the requirement or to achieve the scenario. Let's go ahead and try to see an example. For example, I have an application with root level app.js file and there are three components available inside app.js file, component A, B and C. What we have done here is in this example, we had implemented counter between all these three components. Component A have a counter, component B also have a counter and component C also have a counter. So in that scenario, we will be using user reducer hook thrice in each component and maintaining the state locally inside these components. So what if we have a requirement in which the same counter will be there, but the state will not be managed locally? I want there. I want what the customer customer came and said. Yeah, hey, I want a counter inside the application, but the counter value should be incremented from the child components, component A, B, and C. But the value will should be same. For example, there will be a single counter in the application, and its value should be incremented from A also, B also, and C also. So what it will come in your mind is to lift up the state, move the counter logic to app.js file. And obviously you will be using props to pass the counter functionality down to your component. That's pretty normal, but practically it's not feasible. Why? Because your application shouldn't be on the same level. For example, what requirement is to increase or increment the value of the counter from A, B and C. What if this A, B and C components no, are not on the same level? Let's see in this example. For example, you have to increment the value from A, D and F component and decrement also from A, D and F. So in these kind of examples, passing props manually from app level towards your component, it's really not feasible. It will consume a lot of memory and you will be stuck sometime in props drilling problems as well. What is props drilling? For that one, I will highly recommend you to go on to my React.js series and learn about props drilling there. And in case you don't know use context as well, pause the tutorial here, move on to my use context hook API hook tutorial learn use context hook and come back to this tutorial. So let's see the example. What is the example? In my app.js file, I have a requirement to, to increment and decrement the counter from component A, D and F. Component A is on level one, component D is on level two and component F is on level F. This is the similar example we had implemented in use context tutorial as well. So we will be implementing a main counter in app.js file and later on we will be using the functionality of that counter 
in my components a d and f using use context let's go to our code and try to implement this by pre read pre ready code i had just created a component according to our example how i had created a component a b c d e f and nested them according to this example how i have a component a and this is component a normally a functional component and i have component b a normal component b is there and then component d is nested inside component b then i have component c let me click here component c have component e nested and component e have component f nested so i had created an hierarchy of component that we required what we have to do here is first we have to implement a counter globally in root component or app.js for that one what we have to do here is we have to use use reducer hook how we can use use reducer hook i can say counter and dispatch equals to use reducer so this use reducer will take two components as a parameter two parameters as a two components as a parameter one will be not component two variables as a parameter you can say one of them will be a callback reducer or function and the second one will be the value let's go ahead to our counter that we had implemented in last video i'll copy the initial state and reducer from here and paste it here to save the time let me go ahead here and copy paste this one as well so we can save the time in this way we had implemented a counter normally let's go ahead and say show the value of counter in in app.js jsx c o u n t e r counter and let's hit save and go to our browser to see if it's appear or no localhost 300 let me run my code as well i'll go to the terminal i will say cd react sudo and pm start hit save i have to give the password and that's done my code is running now let me close this one as well you can see i have counter here and then component a d and f what i want here is i have to increment and decrement the value of the counter from component a d and f let's go to component a but how we can pass them we have to use use reducer hook use context hook as we had agreed in our few minutes back so that one what we have to do here is i will say const counter context i have to create context react dot create context i have to create context first and then this con context will provide the value inside app dot js how for example i'll say counter context dot provider and value will be an object what object will be the value i will say uh, context counter will be my counter value and context dispatch will be our dispatch method return from use reducer hook and then close it and we have to copy these all components to access these values inside this component in between opening and closing tag of this component why for that one you have to go on and learn use context hook in our from our tutorial series so let's go ahead to component a try to import that counter context i will say counter equals to use context and it will be my counter context counter very sorry we haven't exported our counter context we have to export counter context it's safe and now we can import counter context easily now what we have to do here is we have to create buttons for example i will say h6 uh, that will show that i am component component a okay 
So this, this will show that I am component A, then the rest logic, I will copy these buttons from here directly and paste it under H6. As you know, the dispatch method is available inside the state. So I have to pass it like counter dot counter dot dispatch. The name is not dispatch. What name we had passed here is context dispatch. So we have to call context dispatch. Let's hit save, go to our browser and see from component A, the counter is working. Similarly, we have to do same in component let me copy this full return function along with context in component B and component D inside component D and I'll change it to component D and I'll import use context hook. Similarly, I have to go to component C also, then component E and then component F. I have to copy paste this one here also and it should be component F and use context will be imported. Let's go to my browser. It's saying counter context is not defined in component D. Let's go to component D and see it's saying counter context. This is counter context, sorry. Counter context is not defined. Similarly, we have to import that in counter context in component F as well. See, now I have three components ready, component A, D, and F. And the counter value is initially zero. If I will increment the counter value from component A, it will work. If I will increment the value of counter from component D, it should work, it's still working. Let's change the value from component F, it is working as well. And then decrement also from F, D, and A from each component, I can increment and decrement the values. Let's see, reset is working also. In each component, the reset is working as expected as well. So what we have done here is we had passed the use reducer hook functionality to our child component with the help of use context hook or you context with the help of context. So this is how you can use use reducer hook with use context hook. Let me go ahead and summarize this for you. We had implemented an example in which we have three components as a child to component app.js. One of them is component A, B, and C. Component A doesn't have any child. Component B have one child that is component D. And component C have two child, component E, and then component E have one child again, component F. We had implemented counter by using use reducer hook. We had imported a use reducer hook, passed a reducer method and an initial state to use reducer hook, and then exported to exported a counter state and a dispatch method from use reducer hook. Thirdly, we had imported a context from react.create context, and then with the help of context, we had provided that value through over all the components available here by using object that is context counter and context dispatch. We had access those by using use context hook in our child component as in component A, I'll explain it for you, user context, use context, and then counter context is exported from app.js and that counter contains our context dispatch that will allow you to pass any kind of action and this counter dispatch is actually a method that is exported by use reducer hook. I hope you guys understand this example in detail. In case of any question or any query, you can comment us, you can reach us in our mailbox. Please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. See you in the next video. <coughs> Sorry. Take care. Goodbye.